YouTube. Hold up. What's good at YouTube? Oh my gosh, my foot. Okay. What's good at YouTube? I mean, look at my hair, it's all out. I took on my twists. I have to redo them today. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into it. Um, sorry that the videos have been, I mean, even though I'm the only one watching these, sorry that the videos have been so, like, serious, you know, it's just, I've been wanting to approach trading with a more serious aspect recently, and I, I find when we do, there's a lot more progression made. Yes, that was my chair. My chair is old anyway <sighs> i'm exhausted but let's get into it oh my gosh all right wow that's too small uh we could do it like that that's good enough you guys don't need to see i'm not that pretty so anyway we are we went in on we went in this week, went and executed perfectly, like we said we would. Tuesday was our winning day, Wednesday, actually. Um, like we said earlier within the week, due to it being no news, having higher probability. So. Excuse me, I'm trying to watch and understand what Mark is going to do. Okay. So, let's full screen this, because why not? So this was our technical analysis from the other day, last week. Um, price never tapped back into the order block. Broke structure to the upside. Broke structure to the upside again. Oh, broke structure on four hour. Broke structure on weekly. And now we really broke structure. So, 100% we're bullish. We know that. Um, market faked us out. Market faked us out. I really thought we were bearish. Excuse me. So... Let's remove all of this bogus on our screen. What's important? Nothing. Do the technical analysis. So anyway, now we're looking at what can we? Why does it only go to 2020? So 2019. So now let's look and let's try to get an understanding for what Mark wants to do this week. So. Of course, we did break structure back to the upside. Bullish. So, wait, what is my? Oh, let's do this. Broke weekly structure back to the upside here, and took out this high and this high. No, we didn't take out this high. We've been having took that high out. I am going to be honest within this week what I want to see this high taken out yes if we it's 100% possible I'm just trying to figure out if we could um, make that percentage gain to be honest it's only 2% and we take out those highs and literally it's 5% and we're at all time highs for gold so, if we did take out this high break structure to the upside, then we are bullish on gold again, which would be um, kind of crazy. Just, I mean, actually, no, what wouldn't just seeing how everything's going. So, dang, I'm exhausted. Okay. But things gotta get done. Actually, if I'm gonna hold up. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna do. You can see my big forehead. You can see, yeah, you can see my big forehead. This is how I'm gonna re re oh my gosh. recap the trade. <laughs> so, anyway, let's actually get into it now. Take out all those highs, broke structure to the upside. So, I do think we can see a. Um, 
I think we could we can continue seeing the bullish push to the upside if I am being real. Um, I'm just trying to really just look at the chart and see because if we go to Forex Factory, and I go, yeah, we have news. We have a whole lot of it. Flash manufacturing PMI, Fed, advanced GDP, and core C or PCE. So it feels horrible to be sick. Don't get sick. Anyway, so our highest probability day of executing really would be Monday, if I'm being real. It really, really, really would be Monday. Um but I'm stingy, so it's going to be Sunday because knowing how I trade in my swing positions, I'm probably going to take a swing from Sunday, um, not market open, probably later, like the pre-market into Monday, maybe New York and see what goes on during that time. But the reason why I'm skeptical of that is because what if price needs to retrace, you know, so. We know we're bullish on weekly. That's set in stone. So we don't need to go over that anymore. But now, the question is, are we going to be bullish on daily? Something I would like to see if we are executing today would be a retracement for this fair value gap right here. Tracing for this fair value gap right here. Bam. Fill this and continue back to the upside. If I'm being honest, I think that could be a probable execution. I would just, something that I would need to look for. Look at all that rejection. Something I would need to look for and see myself actually is maybe more so a retracement for that and this four hour imbalance then a one hour break of structure to the upside sure i may be asking for too much and i probably am but you know with whatever price gives me i'm not trading till probably around the london session tonight so if we could just continue seeing that um move to the upside that's what i would like oh my gosh uh no the reason why I'm looking back is because I'm trying to see if there's, if we've ever been this bullish. I'm sure we have, but you know, I'm just trying to. So 11, definitely made more than 11% move here. Okay, it's possible. So it's not like it's impossible. It is possible. But yeah, something I would be looking for would 100% be a retracement into one of, if not both of these fair value gaps, filling the fair value gaps, and then hourly break structure to the upside. If we see that, I'm good to go. I'm ready. 20 lots, gold, bam, we're down. So that's what I would want to look for. Um, it's really, really self-explanatory this week. I'm going to be completely honest. It's primarily because we did break a week. These, like, if you can't tell, we're bullish. So, you know, you need to hit the charts. But, yes, we are bullish. I still think we can make that move to the upside. Where do I think we can end off? maybe taking out these highs and if not then shoot my bias is completely wrong and we do something janky where we retrace and then break structure back to the upside but i'm going to be real this is such a major sweep of liquidity i really 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 do think and and that break structure to the upside i really 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 do think we are still going to go bullish Something that would have given me extra, extra confluence to solidify that we're still going bullish is if we would have taken out this low. I would have done anything to see this low taken out. I mean, I guess one could say 
he did, but it was, eh, you know, it was, eh. But yeah, that is the technical analysis for um, October week three, so the 22nd. And now let's look at our highest probability days to trade, even though we already did this. Monday, 100% going to be a win. Remember, I mean, th this is common sense, just calling out the days before you even go into the market. Highlights to your brain what days to trade and what days to not. Like for me, I know Monday's going to be a win. I'm not going to trade for the rest of the week. You know, I know we're going to go and execute, do whatever we need to do, make our money during London session, New York session, and then leave. And then we're not going to trade for the next, you know, probably two weeks, primarily because, let's look at news. This week is an amazing week, by the way. I already looked at it, but yeah, definitely not. So if you want to trade during this, trade. Um... And the best thing I could say is try not to get railed. And if you're trading GBP or Euro pairs. Yeah. But even then, if you are trading London session, just be careful for this. I don't think it would make such a... I mean, I don't know. Euro news, but I don't think it makes such a big difference. I mean, it makes no difference to gold, but due to gold being USD, but you get the point. Anywho, that was more so the technical analysis for this week. It was very, very laid back, very simple. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, that doesn't mean, you know, this week is going to be any less probable than last week because of last week's video being more, you know, serious. No, you know, we done did our technical analysis we know what we're waiting for if i wanted to i really could you know be a tryhard and label all of this out and type it out for you and be like make my chart look all aesthetic but i'm gonna do that in my own time and i recommend you guys do that too and write down your weekly bias and take a screenshot of weekly just before you go into the week so you're able to go back look recap be like okay i understand how markets moving this is what it did this is what it didn't do i got stopped out i hit tp whatever the case is Remember, allow your trace to play out and also always make sure to have your a validating stop loss. If I'm taking a trade like this, hold up. If I'm looking to take a position like this, I hate how hourly is looking. I'm going to be real, but whatever. I hate how hourly is looking. I mean, it doesn't bother me, but it does. Tripping. It's not even a candlestick. Oh, it counts as two days because it's Sunday. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. So something, I'm uh, just trying to make sure. Some I just don't like how this area right here is looking. I don't know what's going on here, but pff, whatever. Something I, I am looking for, though, is that hourly break of structure to the downside. Tracing back here, seeing some chop, so something like this. And then that break structure back to the upside, like I said. Um this happens it happens if it doesn't we're not trading for the week that's just how it goes why because i'm probably going to be risking upward of like <coughs> 6.5 k on this trade <coughs> so um yeah i want to make sure that okay you know if this is a trade we're taking it really is a valid trade i'm not going to sit there and just allow myself to take a bad trade just because so something like this is what I'm looking for. And then most likely that entry on that break of structure, taking out all these lows, pushing back for a valley gap. Um, and yeah, essentially just making that move back to the upside. Stop loss. I am going to go and test spread and figure out, okay, what do I want the stop loss to be? But 
it'll probably be something that's decently validating depending on how market opens how market starts to move but yeah i just recommend that you go in and you see okay how is market moving today how could we possibly move what percent at what percentage drop is my trade invalid like for me if it drops if it goes to like 0.3 percent like i was wrong and my entry was good i was wrong i was completely wrong like if you enter here like there's and price retraces 0.2 percent you were wrong like let's be real you were wrong or your entry was bad your bias was wrong or something along those lines and this wiggle room is so much for like i know traders that trade with like 0 0.05 sl like i don't i personally could never but that's me but yeah that's really everything um even though i know it's only me i love you guys and i thank you for watching i need to get my hair retwisted i i don't look i I look like a geek without my hair twisted. And this angle is making my face look fat. See our calendar up there. We have our no news day right here. So win rate goal for the week is 50%. Ending it off for the month with a total win rate of 50%. Are we going to exceed that? Most likely. Probably. Yes. I already said it. Um, so it's going to come to pass. It's going to happen. And then. Anywho, that really, really was everything. I love you guys so much. Make sure to execute on your highest probability days and setups. Pair those together. Make sure all confluence is telling you you're going wherever you're going. If you're trading gold, make sure all your confluence is telling you you're bullish. If you're trading NASDAQ, make sure all your confluence is telling you you're bearish. I don't I don't look at the Na I don't look at the NASDAQ, but you get what I mean. Following your bias, following your confluences, make sure to execute. Get rid of the fear, get rid of the FOMO, get rid of all of that. Make sure you execute. We're here to make money within these markets. Let's be real. So, go in, kill the markets. I'll see you guys in the next recap. That one will most likely be a public video. Then all of these will be unlisted. So everyone can see our progression from here. So I love you guys so much. I really mean that. Thank you for everyone that, that watches. Even though it's just me, but in the future, I mean... I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.